all the families together today. A celebration for me because it's my graduation. First time I met you, you had your teeth, your front tooth are just hanging. You didn't want nobody to pull it. I think Brandon tied a string to it and slammed the door and pulled it out. Your tooth came out the same day. It did. That's how I know you're my twin. <laughs> right. And I just want to say something else. I know that you had posted um, on Facebook and you were just saying like how you've been, been from family to family and like have abandonment issues. And I just want to let you know that we are family. Like we always going to be here for you. And we genuinely <laughs> love you. I love you. I love you too. And that hurt my feelings. Like to, to know that you felt that way. I didn't say nothing about it, but that hurt my feelings to know that you feel like you're neglected, and I don't want you to ever feel that way. Yeah, I ain't got feel like, like ever. That, uh, ever. You know, I was shocked hearing Craig say that he felt like it was passing around and being alone when he had us. Yeah, we all gonna be here, man, for you. Period. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. No, this is the first time I ever hugged you. I think like this. Too many to hug. I never hugged you like this before. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I ain't never hugged this man before. You know, we used to dap up. You feel me? Yeah, yeah we dap up. But I hugged him, and I was like, oh. I started crying because I ain't never hugged my uncle before. It was always one of them dap up hugs. Like, all right, uncle, love you. No, I'm proud of all y'all. I'm proud of everybody. And, uh, we proud of you, too? Yeah, we're proud of you. Yeah, You've been trying. doing big things. Yeah, been trying. Trying. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I remember back when you stayed in, you know what I'm saying, these little apartments on the south side of, of Birmingham. It's like way before y'all came around. Like, we didn't really have that much growing up. It seemed like those were the best times of my life, you know what I'm saying, when he was raising us at that young age, when he didn't have that much. Y'all think y'all feel like y'all rich now. I thought we was balling. I remember asking you, I was like, we rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we rich. You said, no, we rich in spirit. And that always stuck with me. I just want to thank you for making my our childhood, like, special. And I, I really didn't really understand why he was so hard on me until I grew up and became a man. And if I wouldn't have got that, I wouldn't even be half the man I am today without that. I appreciate that, and I needed that. And if I ever have a kid, I'm raising them the same way. I don't know. Like, I would not be here if it wasn't because of you. And I really want to thank you for that, too, because I could be dead right now. Because my dad was in that jail, so I would have probably been like trying to find myself at that. And y'all could have been living y'all whole life and not even know me. And, it's and I just want to thank you for everything. You know, although, you know, I have my anger problems and everything, but younger, I used to think that you were just yelling at me for no reason just because you didn't like me or something. But then now it comes to the point where I understand that. You're only doing that because you care, you know? You're only doing that because you love all of us, you know, like, a lot. You're only doing everything that you're doing just so we can have the better benefit in life. Like, you would not be in, in the radio. You would not be traveling across the country just for your own benefit. And I noticed that. You only got a big house for who? All of the kids. And I just want to thank you for everything. You the model of my eyes, you know? Like, I look up to you as a dad. You know you're a good dad. I just want to thank you for everything. We just thank you. Thank you, Paul. To grow up without a father, it allowed me to know how it feels not to have one. And, and sometimes God allow you to go through things where you can make it better for others. To be the extra dad, the best dad, the cooking dad, the football dad, the dad for those who don't have a dad. And my job is, is, to, is to see you until your adulthood. That's why I teach you how to cook. Show you how to prepare food. Taught you how to drive. Let the car I, pass. I see it, Dad. Just put your signal light on. How to change your oil. This grown man stuff right here. Took you to show you how to shoot a gun. Excellent. Showed you how to deal with boys. Hey. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And even showed you how to step. And he. Hi. Uh, hi. Stop. Hi. Please. Hi. Show you how to clean up the kitchen. Show you how to wash and dry your own clothes. Fold your clothes up properly. Clean your room up. That's what being a dad is all about. After everything that I've been through with the kids, 
I think it's getting to a point where they're starting to see some of the stuff uh, that I've been teaching them over the years. I really appreciate what they said because sometimes as a parent, when you have conflict when they turn 17, 18, 19, you think that they hate you. It just really kind of felt good. And I took everything that I had not to break down and cry. Okay. It's all about you today. Yeah. You took us through hell, but it, but the hell was worth it to be where we are now. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna anoint you as a comedian. <laughs> In the Shanamo. 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 My name is Lil Dara. <laughs>